Hello. In this video, we are going to make, we're going to start making another version of our volume of a cylinder calcul calculator, uh, but we're going to do it as a graphical user interface. So this isn't going to be fancy. This is really just about getting our, getting our, getting our feet wet, you know, just starting off. We enter in two values and then we give that calculation down there. Okay, so this first video with this one is going to be setting up, is going to be setting up the, the GUI interface. Um, I'm just going to run this again, just so we get an idea of what we need here. Um, so what we have here is we have a label, we have an entry, we have a label, we have an entry, we have a button, and then we have a text box. Um, so we're going to use TK interface to do this. So I'm just going to kind of readjust this. So first thing I do is going to import TK enter as TK. Um, and we're going to set this up so that it's not in a class. I will do this again as a class and some later videos, but for now we're just going to set this up as just a program that runs straight through. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our main window, which is tk.tk. .tk. So this sets up our main window. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say root.title. And the title is going to be volume of a cylinder. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter a whole bunch of times in root.main loop. And that kind of sets us off into our main loop that kind of gets the program going. So if I go up to my terminal now and I let's clear this up. I forget if I save this. We're going to say file save. Let's pull our terminal back up. So we're going to say Python 3 cylinder vol GUI. Oh, I forgot pi. Dot pi. And there it is. Okay, nothing's in there right now. So let's just pull that over out of the way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add those different elements. I have this running in a different IDE, so I can pop up my template from time to time. Let's actually do this. This might be a little useful. There we go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put this label in. So we're going to call this LAB, and this is going to be the label for the radius. And we say TK dot, and we construct a label object. And we have a couple named parameters here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to associate with root, which is the main window it's going to go into, and then I'm going to say text equals radius, oh, in quotes. And then when I create a widget using tkinter, I have to first create the widget by constructing it, and then I have to pack it. Um, this video, we're just going to stick with pack. We're just going to have it pack them in an order. So the order that we create these is important, or the order that we add them is important because the the geometry manager, the layout manager, is going to just kind of pop them in as we pack them in. And then we're going to make an entry. So at the entry, we're going to say ENTR equals TK entry. And all we have to pass this constructor is root and then ENTR.pack. And then I'm going to make a label for the height, tk label, root text equals height, and then lab h dot pack. Now we're going to make entry h equals tk entry, and it's going to be associated with the root window, entry h dot pack. So we've done the label, the entry, the label, the entry, and now we need a button. So we are going to do btn equals tk.button root, and we're going to text is going to be submit. And then finally, oh, we have btn.pack. And then finally, we're going to say output is equal to tk.text associate with the root. And I'm going to add a couple parameters to this because um, I think it will look nicer if we add a few parameters to this. So the first thing I'm going to do, well, I have to set the width and height. So the width is going to be 50. The height is going to be 10. The border width is going to be 3. And there's this nice one called, we could do what's called the relief. And the relief is going to be TK. It's going to be called a grooved relief. 
think I spelled it right. TK dot groove. Okay. And then finally I have to do output dot pack. Now this is probably pretty quick. Um, I have made a whole bunch of videos that go through how to make each of these elements. Let's give this a run and let's see if, oh, first we have to save it. So file, save. Now let's give it a run. Oh, it seems to be hung up. There it goes. Um, okay, let's give it a run. Oh, so we have some problems here. So let's go back in and see if we can fix that. Let's try this again. Oh, we have an error. Let me just pause it and see if I can troubleshoot this. In true classic form, I'd spelled height wrong by switching to the T and the H. Anyways, we're running now. Now one little thing I don't like is I don't like how I can type in this box. So I'm just going to come back into my code and I'm going to come down here, my output, and I'm going to say output.config and I'm going to set the state to disabled. And what that does for us is it stops the user from being able to type inside that box. And sure enough, now I can't. Okay, well we're all set up now. Now we just, in our next video, we're going to kind of figure out how to make the button click, calculate, and output. All right, I hope that helped. Oh, I know what I wanted to do every time is let's send this to our GitHub. I'm doing this every time just so you see me do it and you, you get comfortable with those commands. So I'm going to do git.status and when I do git.status it shows me this is the file that, that doesn't match with the online repository. So we're going to do git.add or git space add. I'm not just going to add everything because it's quicker git space commit dash m and we're going to say GUI 1 and now I'm going to do git space push and we're going to wait and everything's been sent up to our master. Okay, I hope that helps. Have a great day.